Hi friends, hope you are doing well and we are discussing about interview questions and answers and I will discuss about some common questions that interview can ask. So we have learned about super global variables and today the question is what is the difference between dollar gate and dollar post? so basically this is absolutely a common question any interviewer can ask in any freshers level okay so and so before understanding these things we need to create a from so dollar gate and dollar post basically we are using in forms so just create a from okay so here write forms so there should be any action and there will have a method so you can write method is get or post so first i will write a get method and suppose there is a input type value that is input type text and suppose name equal to i'm taking the first name and i'm not creating any label for this i'm just showing you how gate and post is working so just use the last name and same write the email okay and i'm creating an action page that is suppose action dot php okay so inside the action dot php we will receive this value so just create a file that is action dot php so write action dot php and inside the action dot php i will just print the value so simply write echo pre so basically pre is nothing pre is to see the output is in good way okay so here i am using the gate so first i will try to print the gate value from the action page okay so now if we go to the browser and refresh this we will get the three value so we need a submit button to submit this so just write a input type submit and provide some name that is name i am also writing the submit and i am providing a value for this also so write submit okay so now so first we will discuss about gate and we will discuss about post letter okay so first for name just write the name is john joe and write the john at the rate gmail.com okay so if you just submit this you check just what happened so just click on the save and we can see this is calling action.php and for first name it is getting the john for last name it is getting the doe and for email it is getting john at the rate gmail.com okay and the value of submit also is posted so if we submit any value from gate request we can see all the value from the url so basically this is not secure things okay so instead of gate if we just write the post here and trying to print the post from this section then what happens so just go to the page and refresh this and trying to use the same things that is john doe and john at the rate gmail.com okay so we cannot see any value passing from the url so the gate request is not secure but post request is secure so basically if we use the login so just username and password so if we using the get request 
and click on submit so what will be we can see the username and password from the url so this is absolutely unsecured things so in this case we need to use the post and using the get request we can pass the limited data because the get request is passing from the url and url have some limitation but for post request we have no limitation so basically post request is passing the value from the body section and get request is passing value from the header section okay and you can bookmark this section for get request but if we bookmark for post request the no value will be access okay so if you check again the get request and print here the get and write here also the get and trying to save these things write john doe and john at the rate gmail.com and then submit okay so if you want to bookmark these things we can see the value is saving that is the name submit so if we refresh these things anytime we can see this particular output but post request the value cannot be saved using the url okay so for this reason get request can be using for searching purpose basically when we want to search anything or when we want to select anything this kind of space we are using the get request but when you want to insert some data into the database or any things except the select statement if you want to write the update and insert command to the database it should use the dollar post okay so using the post request so for post request we need to use the dollar post here for get request the dollar get is using so same way the method should be changed accordingly so for get request write the get and for post write the post so this is the very simple difference of get and post method and interviewer can ask these things and this is the very common things okay so this is all about the get and post request so if you like this video please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video have a good day.